Hi, this is Asain. Today I would like to share how to create user form. First, we go to developer tab, then we click on visual basic, then we click insert, then user form. For this user form, we can adjust the size according to our preferences. We can enlarge it or make it smaller. If let's say you want to insert controls on this user form, then we can choose from here. Okay, to add label, okay, text box, combo box, okay, then check box, okay, option button, okay, command button. Okay, if let's say I want to call this user form when I click on something, okay, maybe we can insert a command button here. Okay, we insert a command button. Okay, then we can ask for the user form. Okay, user form 1. Okay, give a name to this button. Okay, in order to call the user form, then we have to write user form 1 dot show. Okay, user form 1 dot show. We have to check the code here. Okay, this is user form 1. So make sure this is user form 1. Okay. And we check and see. Okay, when I click the user form, one will turn out. Okay, and I close. Okay, back to the user form. If let's say I want to change the name on the user form, okay, I can click on view, then click on properties window, or we can straight away click on the properties icon here. Okay. Okay, if let's say to change the name, not change under the name, we have to change under the caption. Okay, hello. Okay, we check and see. When I click, then this one will change to hello. Okay, if let's say I don't want to press this button to close this user form, I want to press this button to close, then what can I do will be I insert a code over here. Okay, I have to write unload me. Okay, this is a syntax. Okay, one more time. We double click on this command button. Okay, then we write the code over here unload me. Okay, we try one more time. We click here. Okay, then press this one to close. Okay, if let's say I don't want to allow users to close this user form using this cross button then I have to write some code here okay just now we can close uh, using this button as you can see okay if let's say I want to force a user to close this user form using only this button not this button then we have to write some code here okay we double click on this user form okay we double click on this user form. Okay, as you can see, private sub user form, click. Okay, we change the procedure. Okay, this procedure to query close. Okay, query close. Okay, delete this one. Okay, then we write if the close mode is based on the visual basic user form okay the control manual then we have to cancel okay then make the cancel become true so means that we will cancel the close button okay so user can cancel using that close button okay the cross button okay we try again okay click this one okay as you can see when i click on the cross button i can't close the user form okay unless i click on this button then only can close okay that's all for today hope you like this thanks for watching see you